Hi there. So tonight's video is me showing you what I have picked, what I've picked up recently from HMV. I went in the other day. I uh, went before. I went a couple of. I went about three or four hours before my shift at work, and I took advantage of the HMV sale that's going on at the moment. They they sell hundredth anniversary, and they've got twenty percent off on dis on on things like Blu-rays, four Ks, Criterion's. So I took advantage of that. So this is basically a fin that I picked up from HMV, and also an extra one, an extra pre-order that I got from One One Films. Um, I've got a load of um, things that I've pre-ordered, um, ordered, picked up online. So I'm going to be really excited to show you what I've picked up. Um, and there's one particular one that's been on my wish list for quite a while now and I'm really excited to show you what what it is that I've got because I finally got it so it's kind of excited to show you I've been after that for, for quite a number of years now um, so first up from One On One Films this is from 1981 this is a new horror film, and this is um, Spy Number Twenty, and this is Hell Knight. Always heard of this film, but never watched it. Stars Linda Blair. And this is like a supernatural slasher, I think it is. So that's Hell Knight. Then we've got um, so the rest are all HMV pickups. So we've got King Kong. This is the 2005 Peter Jackson version. I do enjoy this film. Um, I think the CGI is a bit ropey at times, but I still enjoy the film. And it comes in this um, slip cover, so I was just happy to pick this up. So I'm trying to trying to collect them at my trying to collect all the Godzilla, King Kong films at the moment. And then um, this is a four film collection set um, of a, which include a film which was recently on the cinemas and this is the Godzilla Kong set which includes Godzilla vs Kong, Godzilla King of the Monsters, Kong Skull Island and Godzilla. Godzilla is the one with Aaron, Aaron Taylor Johnson and um, Elizabeth Olsen. So happy to have this now. Right, the next three titles are all 4K titles. Um, so first up, we've got an absolute classic horror film, Stanley Kubrick. The Shining. I've heard the 4K transfer is amazing in this, so I'm very much looking forward to seeing what the pitch quality is like. So yeah, I have this in, on Blu-ray as well, um, but I'll be keeping that. But I'm excited to watch this in 4K. And it's got a really nice slip cover. The only problem is the slip cover was slightly dented but yeah that's the shining then we've got a new release and this is one of my favorite films of all time and this is Willy Wonka's Willy Wonka and the Shock Factory the only version in my opinion that you should watch the Gene Wilder. I don't know what the 4K transfer is like on this, but really, really hoping it's good. But yeah, We Won't Come Talk Factory. Amazing film. Childhood favourite of mine. Um, then we've got a film which took me quite a few viewings to really um, enjoy. First time I ever watched this film, I wasn't keen. And then I, I watched it again, and it's sort of grown on me over the years. 
And this is V for Vendetta. This really nice slip cover. Let me know um, regarding the uh, the 4K transfer on these films. What you think of the 4K transfer? What what it's like? Because I'd really like to know. Me being a newbie with 4K. But yeah, that's V for Vendetta. And then all the rest that I'm going to show you now are all Criterions, so they, like I said, they were doing 20% off on Criterions, Blu-rays, 4Ks, so first up we got another Wes, Wes Anderson film, and this is one of his films I've never seen, and it's Bottle Rocket, uh, Spy Number... That four five oh, is that anyway? Bottle rocket. Then we've got um, another Wes Anderson film, The Darjeeling Limited. In my opinion, a very underrated Wes Anderson film. Um, spy number. See, the lighting is terrible in this room. But it's 540, is it? But anyway, that's the Dodge Dealing Limited. Then we've got spy number 651. This is directed by Terence Malick. And this is. Apparently, this is. Um, this is based on the about the um, the serial killer Charles Starkweather and it's Badlands. I know that um, Basement Blues Tony, who's formerly known as Toy Collector, he recommended this as one of his um, Criterion pickups, Criterion films. So I picked this up. That's Badlands. It's got Sissy Spacek as well. <clears throat> then we got a new release, uh, Spine Number 1075, and this is a comedy. Screenplay by Cameron Crowe and directed by Amy Heckling, and this is uh, Fast Times at Ridgemont and High. I know it's um, a comedy teen comedy set in high school and I've never seen it so always heard about this film and finally I got it and it's even better than the Criterion Collection um, then we've got Spine number 234 and this is The Tin Drum I've, I've seen the trailer for this so many times and it's just intrigued me um, apparently it's about a boy who, who's um, is he basically he's got a, t a tin drum and he's and that's all I know but the trailer intrigued me I think the the young lad who's in this he was in um, Legend I think it is Correct me if I'm wrong. But yeah, the uh, Ridley Scott fantasy film. So that's Tin Drum. The, the Tin Drum. Um, then we've got um, another film which has really tr intrigued me. Always heard about this. I think the last time I heard someone mention this film was was by Cinema Sickness. And he mentioned this film, and I always saw it on the shelves. Never got around to buying it, but I thought, why not get it now? And it's um, Hedwig and the Angry Inch. Know nothing of this film. Only, um, only what like cinema sickness has 
talked about and so yeah so a lot of these are blind buys so and then this is me getting into my Japanese like samurai films and this is spine number 280 and this is the Sword of Doom I'm planning to buy this for quite a few times but never got around to, to doing it so now is time to finally uh, watch it so okay the spine number so we got 14, 15 and 16 and this is the Samurai Trilogy fully into my trying to get into my Samurai films now and it's got on this got um, so Masashi Miyamoto Samurai 1 Samurai 2 is Duel at Ichijoji Temple Sorry if I'm butchering the, the words. And Samurai 3 is Duel at Ganryu Island. So that's the Samurai Trilogy. I know Cinemas, um, Cinemaniac 77 with hey, he had he, he got this in his one of his videos quite a few years ago. And um, it's, yeah, I'm happy to have this now. So. And then the final two, um, we've got, I think that's, by number 385, I think that is. But anyway, um, we've got Sancho the Bailiff. Again, never watched this film, but I've always heard about it. This really nice, um, like, digipack. And then finally, we've got a film that's been on my well, a set that's been on my radar for quite a, quite a long time now, and it's Spine Number Eight Forty One, and this is Lone Wolf and Cub. I love the artwork on that. A lot of these uh, are meant to be some of the greatest films ever made, so. Yeah, so you got Sword of Vengeance, you got Baby Cart at the River S Stick, you got Baby Cart to Hades, Baby Cart in Peril, Baby Cart on the Land of Demons and White Heaven and Hell and White Heaven on Hell. So yeah. Again, I'll tell you what I think about these films because a lot of them I've never watched. So. I'm a, I'm a newbie when it comes to samurai films, so forgive me if I, mum, you know, mumble and with these films. I've never watched a lot of them, especially the Japanese films and the samurai films. So, but anyway, that's my quick update on my pickups. I've got more videos to come. I, like I said, I've got more coming in the post. So I will show you what I've got. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Like comment on any of these titles that I picked up what you think of them and sub my channel I would really appreciate it thanks for watching bye